we have to change to to meet the challenges of the world that we are living in. In a way, I think we we're changing because the world is changing. And if you look at architecture his, historically over 500 years, you will see that it also changed because things that you know the whole the whole idea of modernism came through technology and an and idea of a better world, but technology was the driver, the vehicle that, that made it happen. The, the casted concrete on site and the, the more rational building methods to build cheap and stuff like that. One of the, the most sustainable projects we have in the exhibition is a, is a small extension of a school in the provincial part of Denmark, where we have built the whole building in straw. And, uh, and wood. I think that that is part of this discussion of sustainability. You have to somehow understand that it's uh, it's more faceted than you normally would do in traditional architecture. So buildings that looks like not really something can be really high performing. And of course, what you try to do in, as an architect, you try to make them as they say architecturally interesting and at the same time sustainable and, and, and perform right. But it, it's, a, it's a journey you on. So if you stick to the, let's say, the traditional classical beauty in architecture, you will get stuck. You somehow have to, to balance in the sustainable stuff. And then at, at some point it will be developed in some sort of way. But, it, but when you see it as beautiful, it's also because you have changed your notion of what is beautiful. I hope that people, and I'm talking about architects, engineers, uh, people in the building industry, but also like private people or, or public servants or like people in the government, will see that sustainability in the, the built environment is a lot of small steps. And nobody has a kind of a formula that solves it all. We, we know a lot of the issues now and we have answers to some of it, but not to all. Um, one of the big things that we will show in the exhibition is the, is the whole thing about concrete, which is such a big substance used in, in the construction industry throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's pretty naive to think that you say, we stop all the concrete tomorrow, it, it ain't gonna happen. It's the most used substance after water, after drinking water in the world, that's concrete. But, you know, we cannot even though we have a lot of organic materials and, and biodiverse, uh, bio-based materials and all that in the exhibition, it would be super naive to say the whole world would just use bio-based materials to be built. It, it's not going to happen for many, many, many years to come. So in a way we have to, to do this in, in, in parallel and, and have more bio-based, solve some of the concrete issues, and then step by step we're getting into the right place. In, in many ways, not. I'm not seeing this just as a threat, the whole climate change and all we need to do, also seeing it as a possibility to do something new. And I think most architects would hopefully see it like that instead of a threat, that, that this is also a, a way of developing our own skills in, 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 in new ways. And so, and, and, I, I, and I really hope that when you see the exhibition, you get this feeling that there's, there's many, let's say, smaller steps that can be achieved, and there's bigger steps. You cannot decide 100% each of them before you are, you are, you are in that uh, process, so to speak. But in a way, as, as architects, we should, instead of kind of freeze and stiffen in, in what we think is the right thing, there's a beauty of testing, trying, being provoked into something new.